What is up YouTube? Just want to take a minute to uh, say thank you for checking out my video. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, dislike, um, all the fun stuff just to help the YouTube algorithm do its thing and get me out there in front of more people so they can tell me that my head's too shiny or I'm stupid or whatever. I need to be nicer to this little fuzzball here. Okay. She doesn't want to sit up there. So anyway, um, and then I still have Patreon. I'm working on what I want to do with that for Patreons. Um, maybe put their suggestions or comments or whatever, uh, to the front of the list. Um, I don't know, maybe as I get bigger, I'll do something else too, but, uh, I've got that. And then I also have a, a f Amazon affiliate link. Um, both of those links for the Patreon and the Amazon are down in the description below. Uh, with Amazon, it's regular Amazon. Only difference is if you purchase something from that or using that link, uh, I get a, get a little uh, commission off of that. So that would be great. Um, no additional charge for you guys though. And I do not get to see who bought what. I do see what was bought, but not who bought it. Um, but yeah, we'll get to that video here shortly. You guys have a good one. Guys were asking where she'd been and when she might be back. So tonight, Brenda invited Bryn, who has a pussy cat. <laughs> TK wants to say hi. Is that acid? What is up YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood running bald man here and I just want to make a quick little note at the beginning of these videos here. Uh, I'm going to do a new series of Revisited. So I'll go and revisit or re-react to songs artists that I've already done. Uh, so I started this because I know that some of my older videos, the audio quality is not good at all. Uh, barely listening to listenable um at some point i would do want to go and merge it into my uh coding that i'm doing right now with the coding boot camp and have it more of a random generator um kind of like what i do with the new videos where i do the picker wheel something similar to that if i can get that to work out uh, but we'll see uh right now i'm just going straight down the list from day one um I'm going to skip the very first video I did. It was like an Adam Sandler uh, song. Um, listened to that one millions of times. But uh, so from there on, I'm going right down the list. I think there's one or two uh, that I'm not going to do just because they were seasonal. And again, I've listened to them like hundreds of times. So they weren't a true first time uh, hearing. Uh, but we'll get that one here shortly. What is up YouTube? It's your friendly neighborhood running bald man back again for another video. So like I had mentioned in my intro here, uh, we're doing revisit episodes of uh, previous songs that I've listened to, uh, never heard before. So <sighs> the quality of some of those earlier videos was very, very, very poor. So uh, I wanted to get those out there and redo those, kind of see if I like him or if I still like him or if something, anything's changed with that, but let's get to it, to it today. Uh, we have Chris Stapleton, Tennessee whiskey from his Austin city limits performance. <clears throat> so let's get to it. Chris Stapleton, Tennessee whiskey. And apparently I can't, so let's get to it now. <laughs> it's 
Look at that nice little bluesy sound. Used to spend my nights out of the boardroom. Liquor was the only love I'd known. But you rescued me from reaching for the bottom. So at this point, I'm digging it. Um, I believe I liked it way back when. But uh, yeah, I still like it. It's definitely got that blues feel. You could definitely see uh, sitting in a blues bar, dark blues blues bar, back when you could smoke in there, smoke-filled room, lights are down low, sitting there with a good stiff drink and uh, just jamming on this. Uh, but let's get back to it. in there really well like it fits with her voice seems like every blues song has a little guitar riff or solo or a saxophone solo or trumpet or whatever. Um, that just fits really well in there. Um, I think it this would be served pretty well by having a, a saxophone in it. It'd be interesting to see how, how that works out. Uh, but let's get back to it and uh, try and finish this up. Yeah. 
Tennessee whiskey. And that was Chris Stapleton, Tennessee Whiskey, from his Austin City Limits performance. I really enjoyed that. Um, definitely, definitely enjoyed that. I think, like I said, it it would be served very well um, if it had a, I don't know, a saxophone in it. Um, but that's just my, my thoughts. Uh, really enjoyed that, though. Leave me some more Chris Stapleton songs or, you know, that I haven't done yet. I've only done like two or three of his. I'd be interested to in see how the rest of them, the rest of his songs go. Um, if they stay in line with this or the other couple that I've done, uh, or, or how they sound. Um, and then don't just leave him or some of the other artists that you guys have been leaving. Leave me some new ones. Uh, different genres, different types of music, whether it be rock. I've done a lot of rap, uh, done a lot of artists that are overseas. Um, leave me some country artists. Uh, leave me some blues artists, some jazz. Uh, but uh, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Until then, you guys have a good one, uh, and see you next time.